In this culture they taught you, if you have to eat your food, first you bow down to it. You are not saying thank you to any god, okay, please don't do this. If at all if you want to thank the somebody, thank that poor farmer who doesn't eat what he grows and gives it to you. We are not thanking any gods, we are not looking up and saying thanks for the daily bread, wh whatever. We are just bowing down to the food because we know how you treat the food accordingly it behaves within you. Today there is enormous amount of study which shows, for example water. This water has enormous memory. If I just as much as look at it in a certain way, its molecular composition changes, not the chemical composition, but the molecular composition changes and it behaves differently. Lot of experimentation has happened about this and today they've come up with something called imploding water where some of you might have experienced this. Suppose you went to your waterfall and the water that is falling with great force, if you touch the water, it feels silky. Have you ever noticed this? Yes? If it goes down two miles, and then touch it, it won't feel like that. Only there it feels silky because the water is imploding into itself. Now they've created imploding machines, you can implode the water and you feed this water to your plants. With ten percent of irrigation, you can get the same results simply because the water is imploded. These imploding machines which were made in UK, we are kind of getting them for the local farmers so that the water is imploded. With minimal water, you can grow the same crops because just changing the molecular composition changes so much. We've always known this. This is why, why do you think people go to your temple and they're dying for the two drops of water? Because the water is supposed to have the memory of the divine, it's supposed to be in touch with the deity and there is supposed to be memory and you take it and it's supposed to work. If it… this whole science is managed properly, but today we don't know how it is in most of the places, but the possibility of changing the… how the water behaves within you just by treating it differently. Before drinking, just bow down to the water, don't see it as a commodity, it's not a commodity. It is life-making ingredient. This is more important than your mother, father, your children, anybody, isn't it so? What is in this vessel right now? Please tell me, I want you to hear that. Yes. Yes, because if you don't drink it for one day, you will not want anybody, <laughs> you want only this. No, we're, we're talking about the real thing <laughs> So the five elements, if you learn to handle them properly, simple thing, whatever, the earth that you walk upon, air that you breathe, water that you drink, food that you eat and the sky, three times a day consciously just put your hands together for these things, these are the life-making life ingredients. Your life is made out of this. Just approach it differently. You will see your health situation, your sense of well-being, your stability, everything will be greatly enhanced. If you want to do proper practice of Bhuta Shuddhi, please come, we have elaborate systems of Bhuta Shuddhi. Probably nowhere else in the world right now, these kind of systems are offered, but they will need a certain amount of preparation and absolute dedication to pursue them.